Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Living in the modern days of the Modi government, which envisages India to be an agrotech industry or a country, we at Zencom have carried this dream, this vision, a step forward by combining technology with the present irrigation system. Looking into the samasyas or the problems that we have at hand, generally manual irrigation system wastes a lot of time. The distance between a farmer's household and his field is about 2.4 kilometers, the average distance. And considering the situation, a farmer is not aware whether proper electrical supply is present at the time when he wants to operate the system. Secondly, the farmer is not aware if there is any dis disruption of operation during the operational period of the pump. Thirdly, if the power supply from one unit is used, which in local language is called the hooked current, to another unit, a farmer is not aware of these things. So this security and wastage of time and water seems to be the biggest concern in the present irrigation system. We believe that converting these negations into affirmations, developing a system which can be controlled from the home, which has increased security features, can solve our problem. For that, we have proposed a simple block diagram. In the block diagram, we can see also the technologies that we have used. Mainly, we have used the GSM technology, the DTMF technology, and the microcontroller-based technology. Now, my friend over here will give a live hardware demonstration which we have out there set. He will dial a number where there we have a receiver kit out there. He has already dialed the number, after which he will give the password. He is pressing 1, 2, 3, 4. I think it's not visible, but yet he is doing that. And as soon as he does that, that light over there, it goes on. It is a 230 volt AC supply and that can be replaced by anything. It can be a pump, it can be your light, fan, anything. Once again, if you notice, he will press the same password, 1, 2, 3, 4, and as soon as he does that, it will get switched off. And the most important part is if you dial any other four digit combination, which he is dialing, I guess, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, the system doesn't work. That is a unique system or the unique security system that we are presenting, which is done at absolute automation. This is the circuit mechanism or the working mechanism that's there out there. Moving on to the features, the breakthrough features of our product would be the password protection which we had just shown to you, the notification about the units of power consumed and about the power disruption, prevention from dry run and canal management. This we have implemented in our feature which is known as ZenZ1 which is only 50% of the features that we have presented over here and that's only because of financial constraint, not because of lack of technical know-how. Okay, coming to the business point of view, we have seen that within the last decade, the electric pump industry in India has grown a lot and Punjab being the leader of that industry, we want to start a venture with Punjab only. Also, the policies in Punjab are very business friendly, so it would be very suitable to us. In the second slide, we are doing the customer segmentations and we can see that our customers are mainly individual owners of pumps or either they can be group owners of pumps as well. Now comes the most important part, where do we stand today? Since the inception of this idea eight months ago, we have done extensive research in the Eastern Regional Testing Lab, which is a central government organization, and come up with the basic prototype which you are seeing today. We have also applied for the Technopreneur Promotion Program under DSIR, and we are hoping for a very good response from there also. We are under the mentorship of Mr. Vikram Kumar, who has been very helpful. We have conducted a basic market survey of considerable size in the Bonga region and from there also we have got some very good results. As far as the patent is concerned, it's too early but we are in consultations with a legal advisor as well. Okay, how much funding we require? Till date we have spent nearly 8,000 on this project and as far as our estimates we would require nearly 10 to 15 lakhs as seed capital to start this venture as soon as within 4 to 5 months. Now we can see that we are having a profit margin of nearly 945 rupees which is fairly good for a startup. Also to mention a fact is that any other products having similar kind of features in the market are selling for nearly 3000 to 4000 rupees. So we are giving a very very cost effective solution to the farmer which is of paramount importance to us. Coming to the last part, the road ahead. We intend to reach a sales figure of nearly 1,000 units within 8 to 9 months. I would like to conclude by saying that today is the birthday of a great iconic figure. We all know him, Nelson Mandela, who has revolutionized this world. And we believe that Zencom can also revolutionize this world. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, audience.
uh, over to you, sir. All of you. Uh, I minutes. would like to know how your system is very unique because uh, in the demo which I could see, I could just see that you are using a technology where you are just firing yes, some sir. kind of a remote system which is like available in any home automation. So how is your system unique? Sir, first of all we are implementing it for the farmers. The technology that is present uh, today, we have the automation in the field in the form of firstly missed calls. And that's a big security problem because that can be easily fixed. So we have used the system of dialing the number and then giving the password. If you don't give the password, the system doesn't get switched on. And also we are using the DTMF technology that is basically converting the frequencies of the numbers that we give into the actual number, which is not implemented in any of the present systems that are available. So our main system hits on the security of the entire system where the control, the time of operation is entirely in the hands of the farmer or the user of the system. But am I right to say that uh, this system is not uh, actually pertaining just to the farmers or probably you can just export the system to any of the home automation system or anywhere? Sir, the main thing is we have also showed about the cost effectiveness. Now if we implement it for home automation, we need certain different types of sensors. My friend has already said that the available commercial products cost a bit more than we, what we are promising because they have certain unnecessary components related to farming which can be used for home automation. So when we are targeting the farmers, we are trying to reduce the cost and improve the security on their end. Okay, so basically your system is just trapping these signals and converting through a secured mechanism, am I right? Yes. Along with that sir, which we could not show over here, if at any time the power goes off, if at any time your system is being hooked to another system the entire security mechanism is very, very compact, which is not existent today. That's the uniqueness. I would also like to add a point. What we have seen in our surveys, that many farmers, they are saying that, okay, we don't know whether the power is on or off. We have to travel for nearly two hours, go to the field, and then finally find out that the power is not there. So all our journey, all our hard work basically goes to waste. We are giving a solution that you sit in your home, you call, if the power is not there, you are getting a notification, so that is saving your time. You are not wasting your time going to the field. Great. Are you aware this system is already implemented in parts of Karnataka? I don't know about the rest of the country, but it's there in Karnataka already. So in few in parts it is there, but the thing is, it has not expanded that well because in what we have seen is in Karnataka or in the south region, there is a lot of electric pumps. Okay. In Punjab, there is nearly 85%. In Bengal, we have nearly 15 to 20%. In Karnataka, they have implemented the system, but they, uh, again, they are giving a very costly solution. Nearly, we have seen 4,000, 5,000 rupees. And as you have already said, they are also implementing missed calls. So that is not very safe as well. And we are giving a very cost-effective solution. So in that way, that is our USP, that we are giving security plus cost-effectiveness, and you are getting to work on your strengths, what you require, what features you require. You are not getting unnecessary features like what's the temperature or what's the acidity of the soil or features like that. How scalable is this pump? What capacities are we talking about? What range is it okay with? The cost-effectiveness versus scalability in terms of capacity. So I actually didn't understand your question. You said this price that you mentioned of 1095 is for what capacity? What capacity is the pump? You are asking the specifications in which specifications it will work? Sir, the pump, uh, we are not providing the pump from our company. The pump or the electrical pump is already in the system. Correct. We are providing the automation for that. For the electrical so pumps also, so you need to traverse the distance to switch it on. Or when you reach there, you don't know whether the power supply is present or not. System is not secured. So we are looking into the automation system of that because uh, the market of electrical pumps have increased manifold. In Bengal it's rising slowly but if you look at Punjab or the western or the southern states there is a huge increase in the concept of electrical pumps and the usage of it. So we are trying to automate that system. Uh, just a question. One is you saying security, you are talking about password security. What about the physical security of the device itself? Somebody can just steal it and go? No, sir. Uh, the receiver kit is something uh, which is allowing, even if your system is displaced from the location, suppose your pump is displaced from the location, we, we, 
we we are using a vibration sensor out there that will actually send a unique signal to the farmer in his home that some disruption has taken place no no but by that by that time he will the thief will take it and go away no so one and half kilometers distance so by that time you catch him this is gone okay all right thank you so thank much you. sir thank you so much guys